Less than an hour to go for early voting in the state of Texas. For new 7 Street Powell reports why voters were taking advantage of early voting and what has sparked so much interest in this year's elections. As day 12 of early voting comes to a close, election administrators with both Potter and Randall counties are reporting high voter turnout. One reason why is this year's midterm elections has a number of important measures on the ballot. I think that there, a lot of people are interested in the, the candidates that are on the ballot. They feel that there's a need for them to go out and express their vote, express their opinions. There are a lot of statewide races from governor uh, down to state representatives and then your local races are on there too. There is a statewide constitutional amendment on the ballot. For people who are handicapped or have a physical disability, curbside voting is also available. This came to fruition in 2002 as the Help America Vote Act, referred to as HAVA, enables people in those categories the opportunity to vote as long as they have valid ID. They can do curbside voting. So they can come and we can actually take some of our election equipment out to their car and they can vote in their car if they cannot physically walk in without ever having to leave their vehicle. We'll still have to present photo ID. They can bring a voting machine to your car and you can actually vote in your car. And all of our um, vote centers on election day are handicap accessible. Election day is Tuesday, November 4th. Reporting from Amarillo and Canyon, I'm Drew Powell, Pro News 7. Spirit Week culminates tonight on Halloween. It's Sandy's versus the Rebels. Ooh.